Well, who would have thought this was an interesting topic? Because who wouldn't want to hear Phil Collins' loudest snare drum ever recorded on an album? We love the guy. He's one of the most underrated drummers ever. And sadly, many people either ignore his playing or brush it off simply because it's sometimes encapsulated by commercially successful pop songs. But if you listen carefully, he's awesome. And not just technically, his producing skills are outstanding as well. It's not easy to get a drum kit to sound great and you get extra points if you can craft your own sound like Phil Collins. He deserves a lot of credit for shaping the 80s along with musical giants such as Trevor Horn. For those that don't know, Phil Collins' career essentially started to lift off after he joined the band Genesis in 1970 to become their fourth drummer. And here's a fun fact. Before even joining Genesis, he was invited to audition for a new band in 1968 that was being formed by a singer named John Anderson. You may have heard of the band. They're called Yes. But for some reason, Phil Collins decided not to show up for the audition. Just imagine how different progressive rock would have evolved if he would have joined Yes. Needless to say, Genesis went on to do great things, and while Phil Collins eventually became more popular as a singer after Peter Gabriel left Genesis to pursue his solo career, he was always a drummer first. Everything Phil Collins recorded always featured a carefully crafted percussive element, whether he was programming a drum machine or miking up an entire kit and processing it through our favorite drum effect, the AMS RMX 16. This brings us now to Phil Collins' loudest snare drum. It's almost funny and a bit ridiculous when you hear this because it's Phil and he obviously loves to finesse his drums no matter which record they're on. In fact, one could argue his biggest snare sound was actually achieved on a Robert Plant song that many may have forgotten about. It's not the loudest element in the mix, but it's a big snare because it was probably soaked with a Lexicon 224 digital reverberator. Check it out. Here's the snare hit from Robert Plant's In The Mood, played by Phil Collins. Now keep that one in mind as we show you how loud his loudest snare was in a studio recording. For this track, we have to go back to the band Genesis and their 14th studio album titled We Can't Dance, which was released on November 11th, 1991. The song that features Phil Collins' loudest snare was actually released just before the album because it was its first single. It hit the marketplace on October 21st, 1991. 1991, and it's titled No Son of Mine. Now, before we take this for a spin, we've got to set this up with the verse that occurs before it because it provides important context as to how loud this snare is once it enters. So here's the end of the preceding verse. And here's the snare entering. Pretty loud, huh? Especially relative to the other instrument tracks. Somebody, we couldn't possibly imagine who, must have really loved this snare sound. So much so, it became a sonic gem. Yeah. 